Hey guys, it's Adam. Uh, since finishing 200 all in the trade professions in New World, I've been trying to decide what to do. And one of the things that I was interested in doing was uh, farming up my high water mark for the items that I can receive as a drop from either chests or uh, named bosses. So I had been attempting to find a way to do this uh, efficiently and uh, get the drops and upgrade the gear score as quick as possible. So I did some research and most of the videos that I saw online were for uh, farming this boss that is called Faye the Protector and I believe he's actually right here at Sprella Tower and after doing that some I realized that he doesn't seem to drop a bag too consistently and the area is also fairly congested uh, with other players which reduces the likelihood that you receive a drop after uh, five players are there and I believe this is because the majority of the watermark videos on YouTube uh, all uh, suggest to go to that location and farm that boss and while he is a uh, decent option for going from about 550 or 560 gear score all the way to 591. I would say that there are better options uh, both from within that range as well as from uh, 500 to 550. So this guy right here, his name's Ajaran, at least I believe that's how you would pronounce it. And he's level 62, so he can drop uh, up to 550 or 562 gear score items fairly consistently and after that it starts to slow down so much that it's unlikely that it would be worth killing this guy much more but if you are around 500 gear score and haven't really started your watermark process yet which uh, side note if you don't really have an understanding for the watermark process and how it works I'll leave a forum post that you can read about what the high watermark system is and how all that works uh, in the description of this video and I'm sure there's other videos you can watch on YouTube as well that'll explain that but I like this guy a lot because he has a one minute respawn timer and he's very easy to solo uh, so if you're on a server that doesn't have many players then this can be an option for going from 500 gear score to 550 Another reason that I decided to make this video at this time is because it's likely that within about 12 to 18 hours the Void Gauntlet will be released and everyone in the game will have a 500 gear score watermark for the Void Gauntlet and it's also likely that that will be a global drop meaning that you can receive it from any named uh, boss in the entire game so this will be an ideal spot uh, if you want to farm for the Void Gauntlet and get it from 500 to 550 gear score as quick as possible. Uh, now like I said there's probably some options that are slightly better if you can do them uh, completely efficiently and some of these might be doing uh, elite runs but of course those have a 23 hour cooldown on the chest so you're unable to loot them after uh, you looted them for 23 hours so it's not something that you can do if you plan to play for more than about an hour a day. And the other option, which there are videos for on YouTube, but I might make one as well. Uh, there's chests in a lot of these towns, like this one, this one, and some of these over here. This one up here as well, and then uh, chests in the mines as well, and they're called supply stockpiles, and these uh, can drop uh, watermark items all the way up to 591 gear score as well. And while they are possible to solo, I'd say that if you die from time to time, this guy is still probably a more efficient and quick option than farming those stockpiles. But if you're able to do those and not die, and uh, you want to upgrade your gear score all the way to 591, then I'd say that those, um, those supply stockpiles in the level 60 plus zones and uh, elite runs as well as the priests in Mirkgard if you have a team of about five are uh, good options as well and likely quicker than this but for a solo player this is likely the best option so if you're interested in farming this guy what you'll want to do is teleport to this area right here uh, you'll have to visit it one time to unlock it but you can teleport to this area and then you'll want to follow this route down through here 
you're able to run uh, through this little area right here and climb up the back of uh, these rocks right here, but it, it involves uh, using a block mechanic and scaling the walls, so it can be a little tedious and uh, maybe difficult for some people. So the other option is just to run all the way around here and then uh, come right in here. So either way, however you get here, there'll probably be a couple NPCs that you need to fight on the way, but if you're going to solo this guy, it won't be much of a problem. So this guy has about 6.7k health. He takes 15% reduced thrust damage, which is uh, damage that is on the bow. So the bow isn't really ideal, uh, and he takes 40% less lightning damage. Ideally, you would want a slash weapon that also does fire damage, or you could just put a ruby in your bow if it does not have a chain perk on it. If the chain perks fire, you'll be able to put the ruby in, but any other chain perk, uh, lightning, nature, for example, void, and the ruby will be will not be compatible with the bow. So a slash fire damage weapon would be ideal for killing this guy, but he's so easy to kill that it really doesn't make much of a difference, and I prefer to use the bow regardless. So once you get up here, uh, you'll have to kill a couple things on the way up the stairs to this area. There's like two rangers on the stairs right here, and then you'll want to kill this guy. After that, I would recommend standing uh, behind one of these chests, either right here or that area over there. Uh, and then kind of fighting them on this side of the room so that you do not draw aggro of the uh, rangers down there. Because if you're fighting this guy and the ranger, it can get a little difficult and uh, annoying. So this guy is Angry Earth. So having some Angry Earth trophies in your house or an Angry Earth coating uh, could be helpful as well. But like I said, it's not too difficult to kill him anyways. Uh, the only other thing I would recommend is... When you're fighting this guy, when you first hit him, he'll have this uh, thing where he kind of empowers himself. And if you have some kind of stun or uh, knockback ability, like on the uh, penetrating shot or the triple shot of the bow, you can actually prevent him from empowering himself, which makes him much easier to kill. So I'll do this kill real quick just to give you guys an idea. And then I'll try to... Right there. So he try to kind of kite him around real quick so you can see some of the abilities he has uh this is the one that's going to dodge the most that'll do a lot of damage he has a kind of generic melee attack and i got both of them on me right now so and then this is another one that does a lot of damage uh, he kind of like pulls the ground up and then And that is his empower attack that I was talking about. So now he's going to have uh, more health and do more damage. So if you ever get in a spot where you think you might die, an option is to just jump off of this area right here. And after a small amount of time, they should de-aggro. And you'll be able to go back to uh, fighting the boss. And the reason I like uh, using this area right here, if something ever does go really wrong, is because if not, I think the closest camp you can place, you can place one right here, but I've never been able to find the uh, exact area for it. I just know I've seen one before, but technically it's still in this uh, zone where you fight this guy. So the closest area to really place a camp, you should be able to place one right here, but for some reason, I don't know if it's a bug, it won't let you sometimes. So you might have to place one as far as like uh, like over here uh, in this area, or just anywhere that's not a uh, actual location or zone. Yeah, this guy's relatively easy to kill, and then he'll respawn uh, in about one minute after you kill him. At times it can be uh, so quick that it's almost annoying, but... Yeah, he has this attack, a poison attack, that one where he kind of like lifts the ground and that'll do a lot of damage. But the only two that you really need to worry about are uh, the one where he kind of shoots the thing at you in a straight line, and the uh, one where he kind of draws the ground up. Those are the only two that'll do a lot of damage, and the only other issue is if you aggro this guy from time to time, it can be uh, kind of annoying to deal with both of them at the same time. And then you can loot these chests and just wait out uh, his respawn timer. So yeah, this is a really quick area to farm your watermark due to how quickly he spawns and how easy he is to kill. 
and it's likely efficient to do this all the way from uh, gear score 500 uh, to gear score 550. Uh, the last thing that I wanted to mention is before making a video like this, I kind of try to look around and see if anyone else has uh, talked about this topic or uh, made a video for this location. And I was unable to really find anything on uh, Reddit or YouTube. However, I did come across uh, one video uh, where a guy spoke about this location. And I ended up looking into some of his other videos and they, for the most part, were uh, really helpful compared to uh, most of the stuff that I see related to New World on YouTube because a lot of it seems to be uh, mostly recycled or uh, kind of the same topic in most videos. So I think I'm going to put a link to that guy's uh, channel in the description because it seems like he puts a lot of time into his videos and also has a lot of uh, unique information that I was unable to find anywhere else. But yeah, he actually does speak about this area for a while as well. So uh, if you want to watch his video on this area, uh, it'd probably be helpful too. But yeah, his uh, channel is That Ye Guy, and I'll be sure to leave that in the description. And although I didn't find this area from him, I wanted to give him uh, some credit because he did uh, post a video on this area previously. But yeah, I hope that helps. And whether you're a uh, brand new level 60 and you want to level up your watermark or you just want to farm the void gauntlet watermark I'd say this is probably an ideal area to do it and once again it's just uh, right here in Ebonscale or excuse me Eden Grove so if you have any questions or anything feel free to leave them in the comments I should be uh, checking it pretty frequently as I've posted this will be the second video I posted today and if you have any uh, suggestions for something that you'd li like me to uh, farm and try to get rates for or drop percentages or just an interesting video such as uh, like a thousand kills of something or like a thousand Ori nodes then uh, feel free to leave that in the suggestions as well because I'm kind of uh, looking for stuff to do like that but anyways thanks for watching and I'll see you next time